everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making a grilled salmon teriyaki. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Also, all the ingredients that you need will be listed in the description down below. Uh, we're going to work on the sauce first. I have over here half a teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of chopped uh, ginger, one third of a cup of water, one third of a cup of teriyaki sauce, one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of cornstarch and a little bit of olive oil. As far as teriyaki sauces go, uh, I normally don't recommend specific brands, but for this very specifically, I've tried a lot of different teriyakis. Lechoy teriyaki is by far my favorite teriyaki. It definitely has the best flavor. So if you can get your hands on this, I definitely recommend you using this one. Uh, by the way, I'm not getting paid to adver advertise for them. Anyway, so I'm going to turn my fire on. I'm going to put my ginger and my garlic in the pan and I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. I don't want my sauce to really be too oily. Just saute it for a couple seconds. I don't really want to brown it, I just want to saute it to get the flavor out. Once you see it starts to turn a little bit of brown, good. I'm actually going to pour the teriyaki in first. Then I'm going to take my water and put it in here just to try to get most of the teriyaki out. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is my sugar. Start. Now I'm going to bring it up to a simmer and just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Uh, once it's actually simmering, I'll turn down the flame to low or medium, depending on um, just so it is simmering. And I will see you in about 10 minutes. So our teriyaki sauce has been cooking now for about 8 to 10 minutes. Just simmering very lightly. Just the flavors have to come together, kind of harmonize, if you will. This is one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to make something called a slurry. I'm just going to add just a little bit of water to it. Uh, this is probably going to be about too much, so a little bit too much. I'm going to go with maybe half of it. What that's going to do is it's going to thicken my sauce. You don't really want to boil cornstarch, bring it up to a simmer. And then we'll turn it back down. Check the consistency. A little bit loose. We'll add just a drop more cornstarch. So in the end, I probably used about two thirds of what I made. This is what they call nappe consistency. You'll notice that's a little bit visque, but not overly visque. Like it's still sauce consistency, but it's a little bit visque, which is kind of what you want for a salmon teriyaki. Um, so I'll see you in a little while once my salmon is cut and I'll show you how to grill it and we'll have our salmon teriyaki. A bunch of pieces of salmon and I'm going to teach you how to grill it very, very quickly and efficiently. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray our salmon with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. And I'll sp uh, just sprinkle a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And we're going to go outside and start grilling. So here we are with our grill. To get nice grill marks, there's something called the 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock method. If you can picture a clock, when you put the fish down, you want it first to be at an angle at 10 o'clock, and then when you pick it up, 2 o'clock. And that way you're going to get really, really, really nice grill marks. I've preheated my grill. My grill's hot. And I'm just going to let this sit for about three or four minutes and get nice marks on it. So I'm going to close this up and I'll see you in three minutes. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and now I'm going to take my salmon. You'll notice that it's going at like two-ish, two o'clock. Two I'm going to turn it to 10 o'clock. And this will cook for about three minutes on this side and then we'll flip them over. See you in a few. Hi everyone, so we're back. So before I only had sprayed the top, I'm going to be flipping this over, so I'm just going to give a quick spray to the bottom. Okay. 
These are actually almost done cooking. They actually will be done in about a minute. Uh, if you notice up close, if you look over here, it has very, very nice grill marks, kind of like what you'd see on TV. Uh, that's because of that 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock method that I was showing you before. So the time has been cooking for about 10, 12 minutes, and it's done. So we were making salmon teriyaki. We just finished grilling our salmon. We're going to, right now it's sitting on a bed of rice pilaf. I'm going to just drizzle some teriyaki sauce on there. Go the other way too if you want. We're going to garnish it with some black and white sesame seeds. One other thing that you can add to the salmon teriyaki is uh, some sliced scallion, which looks very nice on a plate. And finished. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Be well.